exhaust system back pressure. So after the turbocharger, for instance, the exhaust gases are very hot. So here you want to have a bigger exhaust system because hot gases are expanding and need more room. So a bigger downpipe or, or first pipe or, or the first part of the exhaust system should be quite big. Some do like four inch and some do three and a half or three inch even though your OEM or the rest of the system is much smaller. So really, really think about having some big kind of, of uh, first pipe here because exhaust, hot exhaust gases are taking much room. This is the first part and the first part are also sensitive for sharp bends. So don't use sharp bends. You have a tight space, yes, but if you can, instead of using this sharp bend, do this long radius bend. You see the difference? It will be much better flow in this bend than this bend. And this bend can also be cut, so the legs are cut away. Or if you can go with a smaller bend and several of them, several smaller bends will be better than a 90 degree. You see, it's very, very easy to see where you will have back pressure build up because if you have tight bends, small tubes, you will have back pressure. If you have big tubes, big tube diameter and, and uh, no bends, straight pipes are, are, are the best, but in reality you can't use just straight pipes. So basically, nice smooth bends. One more thing, going from a big to a smaller tube it could look like this. So if the excess exhaust goes, the gases goes from this side to that side, you will have the, the, the pressure build up within this uh, decrease of um, piping size. If we do it the other way and the exhaust gases go from here and that way you will you will have a, a decrease in back pressure so from this side to that side to a bigger to a smaller size pipe you will have an increase in back pressure and from this smaller side to a bigger you will have a decrease in back pressure